Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Travis. Today we're going to be looking at the DIY skimmer CO2 scrubber that I made, I don't know, probably two, maybe three months ago. Now, I haven't uploaded the video and I'm actually not even using it and uh, we can talk about that real quick. So, this CO2 uh, scrubber is actually made from a Fosban Reactor 550. Now, the reactor and the build itself is perfect, okay? But the issue I had was with the media. Now, I did use it. I actually went through an entire bag here of this BRS stuff. They just sent me a second bag um, because the first bag, as you can see, it, it didn't change any color. It never changed color, but it did work. I will tell you that the media did work. Uh, it didn't work for very long, <laughs> like two or three days max, and then uh, it never changed color. So Rob went ahead and I think, no, Robert, yeah, he went ahead and um, sent me another bag to give it a shot, and I haven't opened it yet, so we'll see uh, if it works. But before we fill it up and test it, um, I'll do a whole weekly week-long test like I did for the last video and because today is Sunday I just uh, uploaded that video actually and um, I will do a test we can see pH we'll see if the color changes uh, but before we do that I'll show you exactly how I built this reactor it's really simple very basic it should save you hundreds of dollars uh, than going out and buying and you know buying one that's already made specifically for this media so with that said let's go ahead and look at this and get it set up all right, guys, so we're here at the messy packing bench, uh, per usual, obviously. And I uh, already went ahead and disassembled and dumped out all the media for this reactor. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and get started. I'll show you how I put this together. Now, this is a basic uh, Fosban 550. You can use the 150 if you want a smaller one. I just decided to go with this because it was, you know, the larger of the two. Relatively cheap. I think I got it for like 50 or 60 bucks at the fish store. Uh, it's pretty cheap stuff. So I'm going to utilize all the parts that come with it or a part of the parts, you know, part of the parts. But either way, you don't have to buy anything extra besides the tubing that you attach to your uh, your skimmer. But other than that, so to put this together, it's pretty simple. Um, I didn't glue some of this stuff just because I didn't know exactly what I was gonna do long-term. But either way, you're going to take your sponge and one of these sides here, just sponge on there. And I like to put it on the smaller of the two sides. As you can see, this one's a little bit longer opposed to that. This side just seems to clip in and stay a little bit more snug. So you can hear it. So that's not coming off, right? Now, you can see I took a little piece of the rubber that comes with it, and I uh, I actually uh, used the heat gun just to be able to slide it over the tube, and you'll see why here in a second. But uh, yeah, I put a little piece of that rubber that comes with it, the hose, slide her down. And because my arm will not fit in there, I'm gonna use uh, the poker, whatever it's called. Then I'm gonna take the other half here. Now, at this one I did glue, just because I want it to be a little bit more snug and airtight. So I just cut a little bit of the PVC, cut it there, glued it. I did have a video on creating this, but I never thought I was actually going to use it. So I got rid of the video because that, that makes sense now that I need it. But either way, so I went ahead and did something like this. You can see, okay. And the reason for that is this is going to be the lid. And you're also going to attach uh, your hose there or your fitting, which then allows you to pull air. So I'm going to go ahead and um, Get it in there. I don't know how to say it. I'm just gonna do it. All right, cool. So you see how that attaches? Okay, I know the light's there. But uh, so you're gonna be pulling air up through the media, okay? So what you wanna do is then take this. All right, so this is technically the inlet. So you're gonna be pulling air through this side. So what you wanna do is you wanna attach your skimmer to the side that's not attached to the hose because what that's gonna do is you're gonna pull air Okay, <laughs> it's then going to force the air up through the media, but the air has to come from somewhere, right? So it's gonna come from the inside here, down this tube, and then through the media. Okay, that makes sense? I'm not trying to dumb it down, I just, I had to say it like that, so I understood it myself, basically. Oh, and don't forget the cap, because it's not gonna work with the cap. And no, yeah, don't chuck the O-ring across the room. And I'm fat. <clears throat> okay, and uh, make sure you put your O-ring in there. Even though it's not liquid, it's still air. So yeah, that's about it. Pretty simple setup. And I have it have a couple screws underneath the uh, the tank you guys will see here where it just kind of clips on, the air comes in, the skimmer connects directly there. You guys will see that all here in a couple of minutes. So I'm gonna fill this up again with the new bag of media that Robert sent me. And uh, well, next time you see me, well, I'll be uh, connecting this thing there. You can see I cracked it a little bit too. Maybe, yeah, I guess I did crack it. Me dropping stuff, how bad is that? Hmm. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm actually gonna glue that real quick. Yeah, just in case. It's it seems fine, but just in case I'm gonna put a little bit of glue on it. 
I'll see you over under the tank. All right, so I know I said I'd meet you over at the tank, but I figured why skip the filling process of this reactor? It's pretty simple, but there are some steps that you need to take. So first things first, we got the brand new bag of the BRS color changing CO2 media, and we're gonna use some of the stuff that I make for the 3D printer. We're gonna use the carbon filter. Uh, this is has a little hole here, which allows you to uh, kind of cover up. It's good for the reactor. I call it the carbon filter, but you can see that allows you to fill up and then it blocks anything from getting in the uh, the tube. You just gotta line it up and good to go. So let's go ahead and top this off. Not sure how exactly how full I gotta go. I think I should get right up to the base there um, because this is just kind of fitting in there. So let me open this up. I know it's on camera. Trust me, I'm open it up. Okay, so brand new bag of media. I'm sure it's gonna be dusty, but all right, let's fill it up. Oh, it looks so pretty. Again, I'm not sure exactly how high I had it before. Um, looks good enough for me. Set this to the side. All right. Put sure in there. Bam. Nothing got down. All right. That works out. Now, this is my funnel that I use for my grow jug. It doesn't really fit this, but it still served the purpose. Of, we're just doing one teaspoon of water. Let me double check that. Add one teaspoon of water to the bottom of the filter canister. So we're gonna do that. Set this to the side. And we're gonna use RLDI water. Teaspoon. Make sure this is lined up. And we're gonna put the water directly to the bottom. All right, lined up. Water. Maybe. Is there any in the jug? All right. Pull it out. And... Okay. One teaspoon of water directly to the bottom. All right. And then I guess we just put it together. So we'll do... I don't remember how I had it before. Did I have it here? Did I have it the other way? I don't remember. All right, that actually fits pretty good. Come in here and make a snug. Okay, and I did go ahead and glue this. It was cracked a little bit, nothing too crazy. I know we're out of focus. You guys get the hint, right? All right, so let's go put this on. Maybe. I know I'm going the wrong way. I'm trying to get it to fit. And bust the O-ring again. <laughs> God. Oh, this is why we can't have nice things, Travis. That's what my mom used to say to me all the time. Inspiring words. All right, so now we're good. I'll meet you guys over under the tank now that it's completely set up, and we'll connect it. All right, so I know this is kind of a weird angle, and yes, this is the drain line to my collection bin that broke off. I uh, was cranking stuff around with some rock in here and snapped it right off. So either way, uh, as you can see here, I have the inlet already ready to go. This is actually where I'm pulling air from outside. So I'll just disconnect that real quick. Um, I did actually 3D print a fitting for this to uh, basically slide over glue and then go to barb. So we're good on that. So let me go ahead and get the reactor. Dun, 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 dun. And again, I told you guys I had some screws up here already ready to go. Maybe. Where's the other side? I definitely moved the uh, skimmer around to get that uh, that rock in that rock in there. So I might have to rotate it real quick or move some rock. No, that's good. We're good. We're good. And now all we got to do is connect the line. So. Again, we're going to be pulling air from the back. It's going to go down through the tube, and then it's going to come out through here. So, you go ahead and connect this. And now we're pulling air through the media. It's that simple. Um, now it's going to be different, you know, depending on what your skimmer is. Uh, one thing you have to make sure you check out is the uh, the level of your um, bubble. So what's going to happen is this is going to put resistance on the uh, on the inlet so what that's going to do is cause the water level to rise in the skimmer so just be careful so you don't overflow um you know the bubbles all that kind of stuff all right so let's go ahead and move over i'm going to get you guys on the gimbal again 
we'll head over and check out the current pH and then I'll see you in a week or whenever something happens, all right? Okay, so the pH is currently 7.93 and it is uh, 3.52 p.m. So it usually peaks out a little bit later, so we'll see how much it actually goes up. But uh, either way, that's not a bad starting point given the fact that we already, in the previous video, uh, took our effluent line from our skimmer, or our skimmer, our calcium reactor, and put it to the input line of the NIOS, which then takes all of that um, effluent and then kind of gases it out, um, you know, just kind of increasing the pH, which it definitely did. If you didn't see that video, definitely check it out. It was the one before this. And uh, either way, guys, that's about it. I will keep you updated, all right? Uh, if the media changes or if I have to change the media or something goes on with that, I will do an update, kind of a midweek kind of thing. If not, I will see you guys Sunday, next Sunday, with a video on a, the uh, on the results, all right? That's it, I'll see you in a little bit. Hey, what's up everyone, welcome back. Now it is Sunday and I told you guys that I'd give you the results of this DIY CO2 scrubber that we made one week ago and uh, connected it to the NIOS Quantum 300. So let's go over to the Apex and look at the results. And you can see there's not much. <laughs> so now granted it is the third, we did start it on the second and uh, I believe we had a low of like 7.62 and, and a high of uh, 7.88 or something like that. So uh, granted it did go up a little bit and you can see here it went up even more. Now I will admit on this day where it got to about uh, 8.05, I had the back door open pretty much all day. So I don't know, it, it does, it did increase a little bit, but overall it didn't really do much. Um, but again, it did do something. Now the issue is the media. And just like before, the media did not change color at all, okay? It stayed white. Now some of you guys are probably like, well, there's no pressure coming through there. It's not, it's not even sucking air or something. So um, let me go ahead and prove that to you. So I'm gonna come back here and put my finger over the output or the input, let it build a little pressure and we can listen. So do it one more time. All right, so it is most definitely pulling air in, okay, which has to go down through the tube, as we mentioned, to the bottom of the chamber and then up through the media and then into the skimmer. So it's definitely going through the media. Uh, it never changed color, just like before, and it barely working. I mean, I connect this thing outside and I'll get the same the same uh, results. Now, a lot of you guys are saying, go ahead and make it a recirculating uh, because there's CO2 down here. Okay, that's fine. Um, I might consider doing that, but I don't want to drill a hole into my $1,200 skimmer to, to do a result or you know something for a, uh, a reactor, right? So I don't know, I might make that video, but either way, I'm probably gonna pull this thing off and reattach the outside tubing. I am working on the, uh, <laughs> Axel's upstairs going crazy with his toy. I don't know if you can hear him or not, but uh, I'm gonna finish 3D printing the carbon filter, which will go outside. I'm just working on the threads. Um, it will be up on the website. Follow me on Instagram when it does go live, I'll post it on there. But either way, I am gonna reconnect this thing outside just because the, it, you know, it worked, okay? And th this is just another piece of equipment waiting to fall on my tank, so <laughs> uh, yeah. The reactor itself works, but the media sucks. And this is the BRS media, and I, you know, I don't want to give everybody any shit. But the reviews on this media are awful, and I know this is the second formula. I believe they had one previously that was actually pretty good. It changed colors, it, you know, did the pink or purple, whatever it changed to. Um, but the reviews on this stuff sucks, and the second bag, it doesn't work. So you can make your own decision on if you want to buy it or not. But I will not be buying it again. So yeah, bummer. Pretty cool idea. A really cheap idea compared to uh, buying a, uh, a CO2 scrubber um, already made. So it's definitely, definitely cheaper. And that way you can spend more money on media. So uh, yeah, if anybody has any recommendations on like another brand or something you want me to try, I'd be willing to try um, some other media. I know you can get this stuff from like a, a scuba uh, store. A lot of people are saying that you can buy it in bulk there. I saw it on Amazon. But uh, yeah, I'm willing to try some media, give it another shot. But uh, as of right now, Ixnay on the CO2 scrubber A. And again, I'll let you guys know if I decide to make it a recirculating and drilling a hole into my beautiful skimmer cup. I'll let you guys know. But other than that, guys, I think that's it. Everything down here is pretty good. I did run out of CO2. And for those of you who are rocking a calcium reactor, don't mind. My, I've, I've been trying to organize this. It's, it's really good, I know. But anybody rocking a calcium reactor, always have a second CO2 tank. Even if it's one of these little bitty ones you get from the beer distributor. I ran out of CO2 last night at like one in the morning. One in the morning, I had an alarm go off. I'm like, oh, what could that possibly be? Came down here and the, the CO2 tank was empty. So 
swapped out the second one and then Monday when they open back up I'll go ahead and fill up the big tank so again always keep a an extra uh, CO2 tank but other than that I think that's it everything's good Yep, yep, yep. I am dosing a ton of kelk and macroalgae is on sale if you guys want to buy it. Uh, get it now because I'm going to I'm gonna actually throw out this top layer that's been calcified. I, I know that's not a word, but it is now. It's calcified uh, just because there's so much chato in there that it's just the way it is. So if you guys want chato, get on the website and we're going to be making some food with the hydroponics today. Some bok choy. We'll see. Again, I'll give you guys an update on all this stuff later on. But other than that, done talking. Hopefully you guys have a good Mother's Day, and I'll see you, I don't know, a couple days. All right, peace.